Hi guys and girls, it's Russ from RussHowPTI.com. Working as a fitness instructor, I get asked a lot of good questions on uh, supplements such as how to use protein and creatine for, for building muscle. Um, and yesterday we got a fantastic question on our website. This question came from Adam. Adam is a football player, plays for Chelsea in the 19 squad and he sent us a question that said, Russ, a couple of months back in May, um, I was asked by my coach to start using creatine monohydrate to build muscle ahead of the new football season which is coming up, and his coach had told him just carry on using it continuously. Adam had never used it before, so he asked his friends and family about it, and they all told him the opposite. They all told him, no, no, you've got to stop taking it after about six weeks or eight weeks. You've got to stop for a couple of months. Um, and he said, Russ, I'm coming up to that two-month point now, because that was back in May when he started, and I'm getting worried. Uh, what do I do? Who do I listen to? As with all our videos, Adam, we're going to pull the punches with the answer. Um, Listen to your coach, your coach is right, your friends and family are wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a couple of reasons, okay, why this, this myth exists in the gym. You're certainly not alone in doing this. A lot of people just believe that you have to stop taking creatine after a few weeks. Um, we're going to show you today why you, you don't actually have to do that, okay? It'll help you get better results with your training from now on. Um, number one, about 10 to 15 years ago, this was common belief. You know, if you'd asked any trainer or instructor or sports nutrition coach this exact question, they would have had to tell you, they would have had to say, you've got to stop using creatine after about eight weeks. And the number one reason for that was simply because there was no scientific study, there was no research done into the long-term effects of creatine yet at that stage. Um, creatine took off when it hit the market, it grew so fast in popularity, there just wasn't enough research on, on every aspect of it. So we would have to tell people as a trainer, you've got to stop after two months, um, simply because people didn't know for a fact. Since then, of course, the last 10 years, 15 years, there's been so many tests done on it that we know now the long-term effects, um, and we know there's no negative side effects to continue in using it, okay? Um, the number two reason as well would be, again, back in the day, 10, 15 years back, before there was sufficient scientific studies done into the, the, uh, the effects of this supplement, um, people often hypothesized that if you carried on using creatine, continuously, um, it would actually negatively impact the body's own creatine uptake. It, it would uh, negatively impact the actual creatine transporters in your cells in, to get to your muscles. Um, again, this has since been proven that it doesn't actually happen. You've got nothing to worry about there. Um, there was one test done which I really loved the results of. I always follow this one sports nutrition team, um, Dr. Mark Tarnopolsky and his sports nutrition team. They, they, research the hell out of this question by itself because it's a very very common um, question that's asked in most gyms and what they did was they studied three groups of people okay one group were doing a loading phase for two weeks where you take more creatine than normal the second group were doing a, a standard creatine cycle which is about two months eight weeks and the third group continued using it for four months um, they were looking at any negatives of either group and there was none in all three all three got great results, even the ones that were taking it for four months, okay? And that actually makes a lot of sense as well, because if you're quite healthy with your diet and you eat a lot of fish, healthy red meats, you're probably getting about a gram of creatine in your daily diet, even if you're not taking creatine as a supplement. So if there were negative side effects to come from um, continually using creatine, then you'd be experiencing them already. So it makes a lot of sense what they've found in their studies. Um, so yeah, you've got no worries, continue taking creatine. A lot of athletes, they continue taking it all year round. They only really stop in the off season um, when they're, they're not really training, you know, when they have some time off. Um, don't worry at all about continuing to use it. One of the main reasons why people stop after a couple of months, often it's just habit, you know, um, and often it's like a, a mental, like a plateau type thing. They think, I'll stop taking it and then when I go back, it'll kickstart the results. What I would say is, you know what, there's no negatives to carrying on taking it. So if you feel like it's not working for you anymore, if you feel like you just hit a bit of a plateau, do another loading cycle and then go back to the regular daily dosages instead of coming off it all together. Okay? Um, Alright, I've got to go to work, so hopefully today's question has uh, helped you, you know, hopefully we've helped you if you're just wondering the answer to this question for your own training. We're going to help you get some more results in the gym now. Uh, give that a try from now on. I'm going to head off to the gym, get some work done, so I'm going to leave you guys, go to our Facebook page, click like on the Russell PTI page, and you'll get our videos like this usually every week, yeah.
Thanks a lot. Hope today's video helped. Bye.